Hey guys, it's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to Furniture Friday. Today we are going to be revealing not one, but two new pieces of furniture. Now one of them you might know already because I've been mentioning it over the past, I think two weeks now that I'm going to be adding it in. But the other one is something that you guys aren't going to expect at all and it is essentially going to allow you to create a really looking modern room so you don't want to miss that but anyway let's head over to Craig here right now and uh, let's start revealing these brand new pieces okay let's go ahead let's take my uh, my off-roady here over there as always need to drive this thing here we are here we are Craig here as always, let's start opening these crates up. So we have new feature one, and then we have new furniture number one, and then new furniture number two. So both of these are new furniture, and this is just a change with an, exi with an existing piece of furniture that is already in the mod. Uh, but let's go ahead, let's grab out the cray bar here, and uh, let's start cracking open some of these crates here. <laughs> yeah! Here we go, guys. So we have the oven range hood. Now you might be thinking, what is different with this? Well, the first change is that um, the texture has actually changed. So at the bottom here, it is now actually using the sea lantern texture. And I felt it fit a little bit better. Now I felt it fit a little bit better for the range hood here. Plus, when I actually originally created this model, there was no, su no such thing as sea lanterns. So... Um, that's why I kind of thought I'd change it around and that also includes the recipe as well So if you guys know the recipe it uses glowstone well now it uses sea lanterns However, the more exciting thing that has changed about the uh, the oven range hood is you can now extend it Vertically and this is something that I've been wanting to do ever since I added this in to be honest and if we place one above here, as you can see, it just extends the vent up a little bit higher. So we can continue to place that and it will just simply extend the vent up to your roof. And a good example would be if we come back to my mansion real quickly. So as you can see, instead of actually extending it up, I decided to just put a block above it. But that's mainly because I wasn't able to extend it. However, now what we can do is destroy that, pop that down and how much better is that looking already with it just extending down that whole entire way there so that is a really cool thing you can do with the uh, the oven range hood now and hopefully that is going to solve so many of you guys problems i've run into that issue so many times i don't know why it hasn't been resolved until now but you know it's here and uh, I hope you guys like that change. Anyway, let's go on to the next crate here. And uh, we are on to the new furniture. But before I do go ahead and open these up, if you guys enjoy Furniture Fridays, let people know that you enjoy it by snapping that like button right in half. And then also subscribe as well if you want to keep up to date with every single Furniture Friday. And uh, put them notifications on too because we're going to be continuing furniture friday when we start the outdoor update if you guys don't know the outdoor update version 2 is going to be the next update to the furniture mod so i hope you guys are excited for it if you have any ideas suggest them in the comment section below or you can join my discord join my discord guys it's a really cool place and there's a really cool suggestions channel specifically for suggestions where you can suggest your furniture ideas. So, join it. Link in the description below. But let's go ahead. Let's open these up right now. And... Alrighty. So the first one we have here is uh, blinds now come in every single wood variant. And this just kind of made sense to do it because I've done it for all the other furniture in the mod and I thought it was appropriate. Let's actually have a look here. Um, we added all the wood variants for the chairs, we got all the wood variants for the desks and it just made sense to be consistent with this modern update and add it in for the blinds here and they actually look really awesome. Surprised I didn't actually do this earlier. So we have the original oak blinds. Uh, let's grab out the spruce blinds here. Uh, let's actually get it with the uh, string on it. So that is the spruce ones. Uh, we got the, the birch. Ugh. 
don't really like the birch one. I'm gonna be honest. I don't really like the birch one. Mainly because of the log. is a little bit ugly. Um, let's go ahead. Let's grab the jungle ones. I like this one. I think the jungle one looks really nice. Uh, we have the dark oak. Looking really good. And, oh, did we miss one? Jungle. Oh, no, this is jungle. This one's the acacia. Sorry. This is, this is the acacia one. This is the jungle one. Yeah, the jungle one looks good. The acacia one looks good. So, this should hopefully give you guys some more decorative ideas for your house and be able to customize it so maybe you've maybe you've done like a jungle house maybe you've created a jungle house but you don't want to use oak well now you can actually get the uh, jungle blinds if you want to and it looks like we're onto the last piece of furniture already the last piece does this mean the video is going to be ending off crayfish maybe maybe not we'll see boom here it is my dudes this is something that I mentioned in one of the previous videos, but it was adding in every single color for the curtains, and uh, this is actually really cool. I think this is something, again, as well, has been lacking in this mod, and is something that I've wanted to add in since I first implemented this, uh, since I implemented this piece of furniture, or decoration, I should say. Is like a, is a curtain a decoration? Or is it a piece of furniture? It's not furniture because you don't use fern. You don't use a curtain. You don't sit on a curtain. Let me know if anybody out there sits on a curtain. That would be a little bit weird, but maybe some of you guys sit on curtains. Um, <laughs> but um, let's go ahead. Let's find a spot where we can place this all down. Maybe we should try. Oh no, we can't really do that because it's too high. Um, it's a too high window. Maybe we could go inside a crack here here because we do actually have some windows on the inside here that could Potentially use a white curtain. That looks actually perfect. Let's do that for every single window here. Look at that the official crack here curtains That's cool, and it actually blocks out light if you guys didn't even if you guys didn't know about that Blocks out light. Let's place it on here as well Pimping out pimping out crack here here. Uh oh can't place it here because of the clocks. Uh, let's get rid of those. That looks a little bit better. Alright, cool, cool, cool. But let's actually go ahead and place these all down so you get an idea of what this does actually look like. And what I'll do is I'll create a bit of a wall here just so it does look a little bit better. Wow, that needed a uh, that needed a lot more space than I uh, anticipated. But here they are all placed down and they look so beautiful. I'm not going to lie. I really wish I did this when I re when I implemented the curtains, but I guess there wasn't a thing called forge block stakes. I'm not going to get into details though, but uh, this is the uh, the grey curtain. Ooh, we've got the purple, and is that purple? Yeah, it's purple, purple one. We got the cyan, the light blue, the normal blue. We have the white ones. We have the brown one, green, orange, black. Uh, pink. Is that pink one? No, that's the uh, magenta one. Getting confused here. Yellow. Green. Red. Uh, you <laughs> hey, you've seen that one already. Uh, we have the pink and then we have the light grey. The light grey at the end here. So uh, those are awesome and you guys have a ton of options now um, to decorate your windows in your house now. No, no need for red ones. You can choose whatever curtains you want. Now, I'd love to decorate my mansion with some blinds, but I don't think there's really any sort of windows inside of my mansion that can be decorated with blinds because my windows go from top, from ceiling to floor. This is pretty much just all, all windows here. Um, let's see if we can find... Is there any window? Any window at all? There's, there's really no windows at all, guys. No windows at all. But what we do have is a sofa copter! Where did this come from? If you guys didn't see the last video, I definitely suggest you go check it out. This sofa copter is officially the next best thing in Minecraft. It is the best thing. So if you guys haven't downloaded the latest update of my vehicle mod, I highly suggest you do. You don't want to miss out on what is potentially the best update ever of the mod and every other mod in the game ever. If you do not download this mod, you get five years of bad luck. You heard me right, guys. Five years of bad luck. You don't want to risk it, okay?
Download the vehicle mod and the furniture mod today. Otherwise, Crayfish will give you coal for Christmas. But I think that is going to end up this video today, guys. This was more of just a filler episode because we are, again, coming to the end of the modern update and there's not really much more to add in. You know, I'm not really... I might add in one more piece of furniture, like a brand new one, but I don't think... I'm going to be adding any more than that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Regardless, update is now available. So link in the description if you want to download it. You have to do it. Otherwise, five, five years of bad luck. You can't risk it.